Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're actually going to make a solar system out of black objects. So this was the most voted from last episode in the green objects one. So I think this is like episode 5 now I want to say of this series. I think it's episode 5 now of a coloured solar system. So yeah, the most popular one I saw was make a black solar system. So first of all, no racism intended. We're, we're, not, we're not doing any of that. So yeah, I am not a racist and... I won't say I am because, yeah, we're literally just using the color black, nothing else like that. So, let's get into this. So, new simulation. So, I think I'm going to use a black dwarf star for this. And also, guys, while I'm just getting my black dwarf, we are almost halfway to 1,200 subscribers now. So, yeah, many, many thanks to everyone who subscribed. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can keep going and try and get that 1,200 before October because that would be pretty good. we still got about half of September left. So, yeah, let's try our best and see if we can get 1,200 subs because that would be awesome. But anyways, yeah. So, like I said, we're going to use a Black Dwarf for this. So, quite low in mass, only 470 Jupiters. So, this has no luminosity. So, this is going to be pretty interesting. We'll actually just put it to 0 0.1, actually. Just so it's... Actually, no, um... Yeah, what's well, just so I, I don't want the objects having a uh, or just being lit up by the game. So, black objects. So, I might do a double black dwarf system actually. That could be interesting. So, I've never used my black dwarf like custom object here. So, let's use that. So, let's put them a fair distance away from each other. So, there yeah, two black dwarfs now. So, how's this going to work? So, I'm not good with the binary systems, but yeah, okay, so we've got those. Actually, I think I'm going to spread them out a little further actually. So, let's put them out here. Then, can I auto orbit? Uh, so, like that. Okay, there we go. So, now we've got a binary orbit. And how far away are these guys? So, a few thousand. Can we go to 1 AU maybe? Like there. I think that, that should be good. So, there we go. Looking good. So, we've got black dwarfs. Two black dwarfs now in a binary system, which is looking pretty sweet. So, hit. Oh, we're already playing. Right, so, can we change any of these options here like can we make it inclined oh okay i like that that looks pretty awesome so we've got an inclined sort of orbit here with these very very dim black dwarfs so okay there's one all right i just want to quickly put the second one to 0 0.1 watts just so does that all right so now we've got two black dwarfs and for the background let's go with just stars so it's just darkness and stars pretty much so looking good so look at these black dwarfs they're just completely dark so this will be interesting. So, first planet. So, could I use any custom objects here? Don't think I can. I don't really have any black coloured ones. So, okay, we'll have to start from scratch with new objects. So, let's get a random rocky planet to start off with. Oh, of course it's a Nusterski, isn't it? <laughs> it's always a Nusterski. So, let's put one there. So, how is this doing? So, this shouldn't be receiving any light yet. Yeah, it's going to be in complete darkness because that's the way it should be. So, yeah, this is what we've got here. So, what I'm going to do is... Hmm, this will be interesting, actually, because these guys aren't releasing any light, pretty much. So, how am I going to make it so we can colonise any of these? Because I wouldn't mind trying to colonise one, but that could be pretty difficult. Hmm. This is quite hard to think about. So, I don't know. How are we going to colonise? I, I wouldn't mind colonising one. So, now we're going to make this object pretty much black like that so completely dark colored so like that okay, it's very very dark here this is like the default object you get when you spawn in like the moon titan and stuff okay, let's just give some of them a gray color just so you can see the surface features a little easier so something like that that's pretty much black colored so okay so hmm actually should or should i make one of these stars light up a bit like put it to one one luminosity of sun just so we can colonize stuff is that gonna do anything like i don't know yeah, that, that's a pretty interesting glow. Hmm. So I just want it so it can colonize. Yeah, this is going to be a little unrealistic. We are going to have black dwarfs that release light and luminosity, but oh well. <laughs> I just want to have it so we can actually colonize stuff and actually have stuff at different temperatures. So this looks like it's going to get pretty hot in temperature here. So this could be pretty interesting. So, right, let's see how you're doing. You will leave the other black dwarf as a dead object, but we'll keep this one. Um... We'll keep this one with some luminosity on it. So it's very, very close to the Black Dwarf as well. So that's not too good. But oh wait, so let's um, decrease this so it's glowing a little more. Oh, look at this. Let's uh, make that dark. So look at that. So now we've got a glowing black object of heat. So that, that's like a hellish world, that. Right, so next up, let's go a little further out. Because remember, 
The rules with this series is the objects have to be a certain colour. We never, no rule was ever stated about luminosity of stars or surface temperatures or anything like that. So, yeah, we can keep this black as a black star while having it um, luminous as the sun. So, that's sort of, a, well, we sort of win there. So, what next? Do I have any grey coloured gas giants, maybe? I don't think I do, but anything? I could try this weird Westeros planet that I have. That could be pretty interesting. So let's put it there. Because this thing is like really weird. It's like a glitched object from the old version of Universe Sandbox. It's basically a gas giant with the um, like it's like a gas giant. So you can see it has clouds and stuff there, but it has the earth texture for a gas. It's weird. Yeah, we're gonna use this because this is quite a dark looking object. I know it's not 100% black, but it has dried up oceans that look black. So. Yeah, we're going to use that. And I don't really know how to explain this object. It's just a weird earth from the old version of the game. But, yeah, there's that. So that's looking pretty interesting. Let's have it upside down as well, just to make it look weird. There we go. It's very peculiar looking. And let's also give this guy a moon. So, what can we use as a moon? Anything here? Hmm, there's not really much I can use. Oh, no, I do have a dark gas giant. Look, dark. Yeah, that, that's a gas giant. It's very small, apparently. Right, that's good. That's good to know. So let's go over a random moon, put it there. And let's turn this thing's colour to black as well. So let's have it very, very dark coloured. So like this. Okay, looking interesting. And then we'll put you to a dark grey. So yeah, it's a very dark looking object there around this Westeros Earth planet. So that's pretty cool. So is that all orbiting that perfectly? Alright, that's orbiting that. The Westeros is orbiting the Black Dwarf Star, which is what we want. This Nuskaski is getting a little too hot, so we're going to increase its albedo slightly just to cool it down. All right, next up, let's get my dark gas giants. This is like a grey, black sort of coloured gas giant, so this could be pretty interesting. So, I've never used this in a simulation, so yeah, we're going to need to make this guy slightly bigger. So, let's have it the mass of. Wait, how much is the black dwarf? Is it 500 Jupiters, I think it is? So, okay, that, uh, 470. Let's make this a mass of half of Jupiter, so let's go 0 0.5, like that. So there we go, it's a lot bigger in size now, and there we go. So it's lit up orange, but that's just the way the star is, so we can't really do much about that. But if you all guys want a true look of what it looks like, it looks like that. So, yeah, this is the closest to a black coloured gas giant I can get, because I don't think you can get gas giants spawning in dark like colours like black, so I've sort of like a greyish one here. That's the closest I can get, I think, to a black gas giant. So, yeah, I'll have to use that for now, sadly, but yeah, it's still pretty dark which is what we want so we'll also give this guy some rings so let's go with some no I don't want to add a galaxy definitely not so let's quickly do that add some regular old rings in so yep let's do that now it's still getting bigger look at this thing so we're also going to give it a manual rings and we're gonna make them completely black colored so like this so you can see them there there are, there are rings there but they're not gonna be very visible but if you guys want to have a quick or look at them, there they are, there somewhere. <laughs> you can barely see them, look. We'll have to change the background to um, a different colour so you guys can spot them, look. There's the rings. So that's killing my eyes, that. Alright. Oh, uh, just stars. Alright, there we go. That's what I want. Let's put this back to that. And looking good. So it has a very faint rings from it now, which is um, what I want there. So let's call, um, let's call this Black Dwarf. Oh, damn it. Black um, Dwarf. Let's call it A. And then we'll call the other one B. So, like that. Perfect. Alright, looking good. So, we'll also add a, um, a few moons around our gas giant here. So, let's um, go and add those guys. And wow, this planet does not have a lot of gravity, apparently. Look at this. It looks like the moon can't really have any moons really close or far away from this. So, that's going to be interesting. So, let's throw some random moons in here. Okay, there we go. So these guys are going to be pretty small in size. Let's increase their albedo so they don't smoke up and lose all their material. Let's increase the mass of this to just go... Let's go one moon. There you go. And the same with this guy. We'll put you to... Let's put you to 0 0.01 Earth. There we go. Uh, it's still smoking. Come on. Increase the albedo maybe. No, it's still going. Okay, we'll increase the mass a little more. Just so that stops shooting out stuff. Come on, get out of here. Slightly bigger in size as well. Come on. Okay, it doesn't look like it's losing material anymore. Right, perfect. And then next up, the last moon over here. So where's this guy? Oh, damn it. 
And they're spraying out loads of material. That's so annoying. Let's increase your albedo a bit. Let's make it reflect at all of the light it receives and have it really, really cold here. So let's make it dark coloured as well. And I can actually colonize. I could colonize one of these actually. So maybe I'll do it with this one. So let's decrease the albedo a bit. We don't want it too hot. So put it there. Then we're going to add some water to this. So this would be interesting seeing a black coloured object with water on it actually. That could be very interesting. So let's add an atmosphere. Like that. Oh, atmosphere please. Add. Let me add an atmosphere. There we go. Ooh, okay. So it's got a blue atmosphere. But we can't change the colour of atmospheres. So we're going to have to leave it the way it is sadly. Come on, stop losing material, please. Can I make it one earth in size? That fixes it. So can I um, turn it off and decrease its radius a bit? So I don't want it too big, so something like this. Oh, I lost it. Where did this atmosphere go? Seriously? Okay, so let's just go and add 1,000 kilograms, or 10,000 kilograms. This atmosphere just completely disappeared, apparently. Okay, we're going to have to make it bigger in mass again. That's really annoying. Actually, in fact, actually, I, don't, I want to have, have it a little closer. See that this one's escaping, so... Let's just delete those. So this like this one can only have one. Well, it looks like this um, gas giant can only have one moon, sadly. So we have to uh, increase the size of this a little more. So let's go. Let's go ten moons. Make it bigger. Right there we go. So we've got a moon there. The planet's still got its rings somewhere in there. Let's um, play around with this orbit a bit so it goes like that and manually fix it and decrease the orbit a bit. All right. So hopefully that works for this moon. Let's quickly paint this moon in a dark colour as well, so it looks so it fits the theme. So something like this. There we go. So how hot is it here? It's um, 300 degrees. So let's decrease the albedo and warm it up slightly more. So let's leave it like that, and we'll come back to it later. All right. Next up. Hmm. How am I gonna? All right. So let's let's try and colonise one now. So we'll go over random. Let's go over random um, rocky planet. We'll put it out somewhere. Put it there, like that. So two aid or two two aid, I think you'd say that. So now let's make it also dark in colour. So let's do this like that. So put it in a black colour. There we go. So we're going to add an atmosphere to it. Uh, how large is this? So okay, it's got a mass of two Earth, so slightly larger than our Earth. All right. So let's give it an atmosphere of one Earth. So let's see how this works. Uh, so let's go one ATM like Earth, but ooh, green looking atmosphere. That's pretty interesting. So increase the albedo so it doesn't get too hot. Add some water to it. Let's see what this looks like with a black surface and water. It's sort of like a volcanic sort of looking object. Because when I'd see a black planet, I'd assume it's like volcanic rock or something. I guess that's not the case since like Jupiter's moon Io is a yellow colour and it has volcanoes. But yeah, if it was Earth or lava on Earth usually dries to a black colour, I believe. So I guess that could work. I don't know. I'm not really good at my geography, but there we go. Right, so it's um. Reset it to zero degrees so it doesn't get too hot. And we'll have it about 20, 30 degrees as we normally do for colonized planets. So, okay, stop increasing in temperature, please. Okay, there we go. So, 32 degrees, that works. So, it's. Oh, so we've got some water on it. Look, you can see the surface there. Looking good. Oh, wow, that's a little too much. So, let's um, decrease it. And it may look like ice, but no, that is normal water. So, that's, that's a very in unique look, actually. Oh, that's that removed a lot quick. Let's quickly add more in. Oh, too much. No, I'll never... Yeah, this is not playing nice with me today, this game. Damn. Come on, a little bit more. Come on, come on. Okay, you can see the water being added. There we go. I like something like that, maybe. Maybe a little more. So if you guys want a good look, there it is. So let's make the black... The black surface definitely makes it look volcanic. I'm sh like, I definitely think of volcanoes when I see that, so... Very interesting look. Actually, to make it look a little more volcanic, maybe we could add some sort of like red onto it to make it look more like. Oh no, that's too much red. Um, okay, so we're about to black. Is there any red? So yeah, so it sort of represents the lava and volcanoes. So black is still the primary color, but it has some red on it to make it look like a volcanic rock. Because so I think that looks, I think that looks pretty cool. So it is habitable. So we could live here. It's got a uh, Earth similarity of 91% or 91.3, and a life likelihood of 18%. So even though it's a volcanic world, we could live here maybe. So it's got the water, it's got land, it's got some hot areas like with volcanoes. This is the main danger area, as we can see, because that's all the red area. So that's good. I like that. I, I really enjoy it. Oh, I like that. I'm going to save this. That's a cool volcanic looking object there. I like that. So there we go. We've got a colonized planet now. It does definitely look like ice, but like here, but that is liquid water. So 
Actually, we can check to see what it looks like just with this. So, yeah, that is normal water. So, looking good. That is a nice looking object. I really like that. So, if you guys want a better look, we will remove the atmosphere like that and get a good look. So, sort of like a volcanic looking volcano area here. And this is all like dry lava in a black sort of color. I like that. That's good. So, let's add that back. And let's have it so it has a volcanic moon around it. So, we'll put a random moon there. Put it there. And let's make this guy basically... The same version but we're only we're gonna have it just completely unhattable so do that and then we'll put it to ready a red orange sort of color so let's um change it to more of a red okay there we go and let's um switch it to a gas giant just to change the texture on it okay that looks good i like that so yeah we're not gonna have any water here this is gonna be a very hot sort of magma object so okay, that's too much red um like that hmm a little too much. Is that enough red? I don't know. Let's um, reset the surface again. Okay, I like that. That looks good. So this is like a volcanic sort of um, planet and moon here. So let's put it back on that mode. Oh, I do like that. Looks That looks menacing. I like that. Atmosphere, maybe? Can I have an atmosphere? Nah, it looks better than atmosphere, without an atmosphere, if you ask me. That looks more menacing. So that red and black theme is like, like a volcano sort of place. It's like Venus, actually. Sort of like Venus. So... There we go. Venus is more of an orange colour, but that, that, I'm really happy with the way that rocky planet turned out. If we just look at it again in this night sky, that looks really cool. Look at that. It just looks so pretty. Like, that looks good, but even in, like, this simulation's, like, light, that glow with the red, or, like, the black surface with the red sort of, like, land there, that, look, I really like that. That looks really cool. So, yeah, we're, we're keeping that. That's definitely being saved, which I, wait, did I save it already? I think I did. So... T U A. Oh, so it's right there if we ever need it again. Perfect. So we've got to save one if we ever need to use that, which is good. So, what next? So, we've got a bunch of um, objects here, but in a um, binary white or black dwarf system, there probably won't be too many planets. So, we can make this system quite basic, but put, still put some interesting features in. So, with this black dwarf, this is the dead one because this has no luminosity, hardly. But we'll, we'll put one. Um, we'll put an object very close to it. So, let's go over a random moon. Let's put it. Let's put it there. So this thing's going really close. So it's still receiving light from the primary black dwarf over there. Actually, what I could do with that black dwarf is I could heat it up slightly, maybe. maybe what if I put it to like 700 degrees? Okay, that isn't, it doesn't even heat up. So, so if I have it as a very, very dim red object, just so it actually glows. So it is glowing, but if you ask me, that's still more of a black sort of color. Like if I increase it more, it'll go red, but... I can have it as a cool looking object, but it still release it, it still glows. So, yeah, I like that. That look, I like that. That's good. So, okay, I, I like that. So, yeah, that's a black looking object, but it's still glowing. So, yeah, that's like a black dwarf that's almost died, or a right dwarf that's almost died, but it's still cooling down because it's not at zero degrees yet. So it's eight hundred degrees. So this is sort of in between the white and black dwarf sort of thing here, but its its color is still black, and that's what we need for this simulation so we'll leave it the way it is so there's um oh you can see the rings of the um gas giant over here oh this one's heating up a bit actually nice that glow looks pretty cool on it so let's actually use this again up here so we can have a secondary one and hopefully this simulation will works when i hit play as well so let's have a second um one out here so let's leave it there hit play now we've got two more objects oh this guy's getting torn up the rouge limit okay sorry whoops I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to delete that. Get rid of all those parts and fragments and all that. So, let's get rid of that. Let's now add one a little further out. So, let's go over random. Let's go over random. Um, random moon again. Put it a little further out. So, leave it. Let's have it there, maybe. Okay, here we go. So, in a bit more peculiar shaped orbit, but works for me. So, that's good. And where is our... Oh, wow. This got annihilated as well. Wow. Okay. Damn. Okay, so I guess we can't have anything close to this guy without being shredded apart. Now, is this guy alright? The third one, or the one I just added? Uh, let me see. Labels, please. Okay, is this doing good? Okay, this guy looks like it's safe from the Rouge limit. So, how far away is that, Black Dwarf? Actually, I'm going to do the same with this one, but I won't add any luminosity to it. So, we'll put it to about 800 degrees surface temperature as well, like that. Wait, we can't even see anything. Wait, think a little bit more then. There we go. So, just a little bit. This is actually, uh, since this is the more dim one, we will make it more dim than the other one. So, 
it is releasing a tiny bit of heat like you can see that tiny little glow there right, so it's lower it a bit more so so this is the lowest shade of light it can receive so if we turn all that off it is really it is glowing slightly where's its companion star where's the other one so the black dwarf a so where's that where is it can we see it um a where's it zoom out okay there it is so it's over there so from here you can just about see black dwarf a with its um hot gas giant and nuskuski and stuff so you can see slight objects over there you can see our earth-like object over there what's going on over here wait is there smoke coming off it i saw that smoke there what was that i definitely saw some clear yeah, what's this here you can see there Let's delete those oh no no i wasn't gonna do that <laughs> whoops I didn't even select it. I don't. I didn't select that. That's pretty weird. Well, well, luckily I have it saved because it's such an awesome object. So we'll just plop it right back there, pretty much, and hit play again. Let's make you orbit around. Or let's make this guy orbit around the star again, and put you orbiting the planet. All right, there we go. Fixed it. You guys didn't see that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, but that. There, I definitely saw that releasing some material there. So that's pretty weird. Oh, Westeros has changed which star it's orbiting around. Apparently. Oh well, that's fine with me. So. Black Dwarf, or Black Dwarf B here. Is this guy doing good? Okay, that's fine. So, we'll have this guy as a... Um, let's make it so it, incre oh, it absorbs all the light it receives. And it's still cold here. Okay. So, this guy just receives no energy at all. So, let's have it as a nice, dark-looking object. It's completely blacked out. So, yeah, it, that's what's happened. If it absorbed all the light it received anyway, it would be a black object. Because... If it's not reflecting any light, then it wouldn't show off as any colour. It would just be a black object floating through space. There actually is an object like this. It only has a very, very faint red glow. But it's the darkest planet ever discovered because it absorbs all the light it receives. So that means it doesn't reflect anything. So you can't see the colour of the planet. It's just a completely dark object. So it's pretty amazing find. If you want me to make a video on the darkest planet, just say and I'll do it. So that'd be pretty interesting. Or maybe I'll do it anyway. I've never... I need to actually make a custom planet for it. Maybe I can use uh, my dark, where is it, my dark um, grey gas giant. That would probably be the most appropriate object to use. So that would be good. All right, anyways, let's go have one more. Actually, yeah, let's add another dark in, actually. So let's add a dark in. We'll pull it a little further out this time. So let's pull it, let's put it there. So it's, it's fairly far away, but not anything extreme. So there it is. So it's receiving a bit of light from the other star, which is good. So how hot is this? So let's make it... Let's make it about, I don't know, 40, oh, 31 Earths, apparently. So let's go like that. Let's put it on a um, sort of tilt like Uranus is, like that, on its side. Oh, let's check the object. Okay, so it does not, this object does not get a lot of light or a lot of heat from it. That's pretty weird. So as you can see, it's still cold here. I'm going to put it to zero degrees just to check. Yeah, this, this guy's always going to be cold since it's not really the main star. Westeros, you are cold as well. So, yeah, this is the main sort of that area here. This is where the Hattable objects can be. So, we've got our dark object there. You can just see the rings very faintly if you look carefully as well. So, this moon, is that moon doing all right? Okay, that's got a peculiar orbit there. We could add an asteroid belt in. I may do that, actually. So, let's go. Let's do that, actually. So, asteroid belt. So, we may have to add it quite... Actually, how f I don't know how far away the distance is. So this is how far away is this from the primary? So how, what number is that? That is eighty thousand. That's two hundred fifty thousand. So let's have the at uh, in kilometers. Let's go of three hundred thousand. So three hundred like that. Let's have it to let's have it to zero point five AU like that. So let's go. Um, then we go to the black dwarf, or black dwarf A add ring. And now there should be a asteroid belt. So there's an asteroid belt. Okay, so I'm going to have to delete that quick. And then quickly manually put it on a black colored asteroid belt. So add ring. And now we've got a very dark asteroid belt here. So this is quite a bizarre system. It's nice and small, but it looks good. So it's got on flashlight mode. And we still can't see it. So let's go on background and put it on solid white. So there we go. Got an asteroid belt there looking good. Then the Black Dwarf B, that is the more dead one of the two stars. But we'll, we can go and we'll give it some love. So we'll add some, we'll add a little ring system to it. So let's give it, let's give it Saturn's rings maybe. So add ring, and there you go. Slightly, maybe slightly too big actually. So oh well, they're pretty much a dark color anyway, so that's fine. So looking good. So if we go back to a background mode and go back to just stars the way it should be. There we go, guys. So that is it for this black system, I think. I think it's um, 
it's, it's, it's small and simple, but I, I like it. It's got some cool objects in here, so let's get a lineup of um, what we've got here. So we've got our primary giant gas giants planet. We've got our secondary, so this would be our Uranus sort of size. Well, this is bigger than Uranus anyway. This is like the size of Saturn. This guy is very big. So we've also got the Westeros, a weird looking Earth. Then we've got Black Dwarf A and B. So yeah, B is dimmer than A. We've also got Nuskaski, which is our hot sort of Venus, Mercury sort of planet. We've got 2A, which is our like volcanic Earth-like planet. We've got Rimage, which is orbiting, um, or we've just got some, a few just plain black ones here. We've also got Olin, which is the object orbiting our Earth-like planet. And then we've got Yumpati, which is somewhere in the simulation. Where, where is it? Is this the moon of, oh yes, this is the moon of Westeros. So there it is, just chilling here. So looking good, I like that. So this is it. If you ask me, this is the job well done for a um, nice small simulation here. So yeah, I know the start isn't completely black, but yeah, if you went up and saw that, I'd say, yeah, that's not orange. That is pretty much black with a slight like tint of red in it. But, yeah, that, that works for me. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. And let's quickly save this simulation. Just call it Black System. So, it's there if we ever want to return. So, save. And there we go, guys. So, yeah, if you um, want me to continue this series, which I know you guys probably will, because this series is very successful, which is um, good. So, yeah, what colour should I do next? So, either yellow orange or maybe pink or something i don't know what color do you want um a lot of people have said yellow so could do that but yeah any any color you want just say in the comments and i'll do it next week because this this series is now like a weekly thing if you haven't noticed i've been doing it every week so yeah if you want me to do a um another color solar system just say what color you want and hopefully um, or if it gets like the most likes or votes or something then yeah i'll get around to doing it but yeah that look, I, those rings look pretty cool actually okay i like that that's good Right, so there we go. Yeah, so like I said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. And make sure you did hit that um, like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 1,200 subscribers because that would be awesome. There should be a, or maybe be a live stream coming soon at the weekend maybe. Just tell me guys if you want the live stream. But yeah, there we go. So this is a very fun episode to make as well. So yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day. Remember to say what colour you want for the next um, video on this series. What colour solar system you want next. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye you maybe like there I think that that should be good so there we go looking good so we've got black dwarfs two black dwarfs now in a binary system which is looking pretty sweet so hip oh we're already playing right, so can we change any of these options here like can we make it inclined oh okay I like that that looks pretty awesome so we've got an inclined sort of orbit here with these very very dim black dwarfs so Okay, there's one. All right, I just want to quickly put the second one to 0 0.1 watts, just so does that. All right, so now we've got two black dwarfs make a black solar system. So first of all, no racism intended. We're, we're not we're not doing any of that. So yeah, I am not a racist, and I won't say I am because yeah, we're literally just using the color black, nothing else like that. So let's get into this. So new simulation. So. I think I'm going to use a Black Dwarf star for this. And also, guys, while I'm just getting my Black Dwarf, we are almost halfway to 1,200 subscribers now. So, yeah, many, many thanks to everyone who subscribed. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can keep going and try and get that 1,200. I might do a double Black Dwarf system, actually. That could be interesting. So, I've never used my Black Dwarf, like, custom object here. So, let's use that. So, let's put them a fair distance away from each other. So, there, yeah, two Black Dwarfs now. So, how's this going to work? So, I'm not good with the binary systems, but... Okay, so we've got those. Actually, I think I'm going to spread them out a little further, actually. So, let's put them out here. Then, can I auto-orbit? Uh, so, like that. Okay, there we go. So, now we've got a binary orbit. And how far away are these guys? So, a few thousand... Can we go to 1A... <laughs>
So this is going to be pretty interesting. We'll actually just put it to 0 0.1 actually. Just so it's... Actually no, um, yeah, what's just so I, I don't want the objects having a... Uh, or just being lit up by the game. So, black objects. So, 